hilarious. We are in the car. We are in the car. I didn't plan what I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> that was good, right? That was, good. that was so good. We went to the park for a little bit. It's so crazy. I just love seeing them interact. It's like the cutest, sweetest thing. And now we're going to this place called 94th Aero Squadron. And it is a restaurant at the Van Nuys Airport. From what the Yelp review said, you can uh, sit there and it's like right on the runway so you can see all the planes taking off and landing and since Trey is getting into planes, figured it'd be good to go eat there. <laughs> What is it? Plane! That just made this whole thing worth it. Just him being able to see it up close like that. Are you gonna wave bye bye and blow a kiss? Bye bye! Bye plane! Another one! Wow! I think that someone's enjoying the dessert buffet a little bit. How about some milk? Your daddy loves cookies and milk. That's an interesting one. That's a party plane. Trey's just looking at it like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Is it really? Do you have a plane that's what you're calling it? What are you trying to prove, bro? I fully expect there to be fog machines and disco balls on that. That's Austin Powers' plane. You could look up that logo and see what's going on. Did you hear him? He went, shh. So, I've just been editing the video that you are currently watching. That place was so cool and they had a great Sunday brunch. Bottomless mimosas, what? Now it is Wednesday and Trey and I are getting ready to go to Atlanta to meet my two week old niece. I'm so excited. And then after that, my mom is picking us up and we are driving down to Orlando to go to Disney and to go to Brave Spring Training. Yes, because Phil's gonna be in Austin for um, South by Southwest. So, I figured we might as well go do something. <coughs> Whoa, <clears throat> allergies are killing me. I just wanted to do a little update on Trey's room. He's been sleeping great at night, but nap time has been a little tricky. So I took y'all's advice and I took all of his toys out. Clothes are up there, toys are out, books are out. Yesterday, I did that about an hour and a half into nap time when he, and he just would not go to sleep. So once I did that, he fell asleep on the floor with his blanket, whatever. As long as he's sleeping, it doesn't matter to me. Also. You guys are so cute. You are concerned, and I'm not saying that in a condescending way at all. It is adorable that you are concerned about Trey's little fingers. So, let me show you this. The way the door is, he can't really, I don't know if you see. I mean, he could close it in there, but it would be very hard to slam them in there. And also, it doesn't latch closed. So, it wouldn't like close firmly on it. He would just have to pull his finger out. He wouldn't have to, you know, think in the heat of the moment. Oh no. Another thing I wanted to talk about was locking him in his room. Some of you guys seem kind of concerned about that and how that seems kind of weird. And I agree. At first when I read it in the Moms on Call toddler book, I was like, that's kind of weird. It seems like you're putting him in a cage, but you're actually protecting him. But think about if he was able to get out of this room and he could climb down the stairs, he could fall over the banister, he could get into anything that we have. It would just be a nightmare. So really keeping him in his room is safer. Someone was concerned about there being a fire. The chances that a fire is gonna start in this room are so, so small that I'm okay with it. And we have a video and audio monitor so we would know something was wrong. And say there was a fire in another part of the house. Something that a lot of kids do when something scary happens is they go hide somewhere. What if there's a fire and we couldn't find him? or the firefighters couldn't find him, that would be awful, right? So having him in his room means we'll always know where he is and we can always keep an eye on him while giving him the freedom of being in his room. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. It's the best decision for us and you know, you just gotta do whatever works for you. Anyway, I gotta go now. I gotta edit, I gotta eat. I will see you guys Friday. Whoa. <gasps> Look at your big kid bed. <laughs> Whoa. That's your new bed. That's where you're gonna sleep. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Is 
you. That is a choo-choo. So many choo-choos.